Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator 19 on Greenwich Valley Farm. So, in theory, from what I understand, from what I have been told, a week from now, you guys can see up in the top right hand corner, when I am recording this, so it is the f February the 5th of July, the mods supposed to, apparently Giants did a, a live stream on the 4th. And they said that Monday was going to be when the mods dropped. So hopefully you guys are on this map if you're on PC. I hope you are. And if not, hey, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, it wasn't the case. Alright, so we've got all of our crop in the ground growing. Uh, they all need respraying, I think, actually. We need to go through. Apparently I just tabbed into the combine. And switch off this crap. Thank God. Uh, so, I think what was next, really, I will jump into this stuff here. That's got done seed, and that needs to get sprayed. So I'll be spraying a lot of this stuff down. I'll probably be using the 6920 for that, as uh, I believe you can put the road crops on that, if not the John Deere. Oh, come on, you can get through there. <laughs> I spin this around. You have to do a lot of this on this map. Some of the areas are so tight, you have to really plan your entrance and ex exits. Zzz. I kind of want to do this all in a timely manner, so... Hence, the track's amazing. But we'll bypass the track for now. We are all over the shop. Oh yeah, we got that field to plow. So I can't. Well, I I could technically fast forward, but we'll uh, get everything in the ground, get the stuff spraying, uh, sprayed. What we want to do is actually go through and take in our crop as well. See, we still got the sprayer over there. So we'll be doing that as well today. Now you've probably seen quite a bit of movement on this map as far as where we're at. That is because I have been streaming it uh, last week. So this week I've, I was camping, obviously. Uh, it sounds like we did 100% go, or are 100% going by the sounds of it, which is good. Uh, course generation, field 42. Headlands. It may seem like a lot that I'm... Chucking on there. Yeah, I'll put five. But sometimes the fields just need it. Up and down. It's set up to 42, generate course. That looks alright. And there's waypoint and drive course. So that'll go off and do its ting. You can go over to this one. Start it up. And finish that tiny little piece that stopped too early for. Alright, we've never cast, we've done a bit of farming today. Now, that's because of the nature of this thing, is actually really maneuverable. That's why this tractor is going to be the one that has the front loader. Just set the uh, cruise for going down this pathway. Well, my voice is a little froggy today for some reason. What time is it? Uh, Ten twenty-six. Yeah, not bad. I guess at this point I can say I've got a couple of first looks to uh, record. I'm not going to say what they are, just in case the mods didn't come out. But I got a couple of first looks for the mod contest.
beacons up for the short little hop. Uh, this thing will throw uh, right back into the yard. Actually, no, nah, you know what? We probably could get away with the throwing it just on the margin of the field here. That's big enough. Literally just so I can keep it out of the way so it doesn't get all hung up. I've got to admit that yellow just really pops. Really does. Okay, so we're going to go across to a green tractor. Jump into this. I think I still forgot to put the tab and mod in for the freaking workshop. Yeah, we'll see in a second. I'm pretty sure I don't have it in. Yeah, I don't. Son of a. Well, at least it's picking up on this anyway. Why do they always do this? Why do they always go to that setup? It winds me up. Really does. Okay, so we're going to have to go for Trollbergs and Adults. Oh, it can't, you put, can't put row crops on this. Oh, well, shit. I thought you could. Oh, there we go. The Michelins. The Michelin's coming through. Yeah. Michelin is actually one of my favorite tires in the game, to be honest. They just seem to suit a lot of the tractors more. All right, I think all my setup's still the same. Uh, front load and no GPS, yeah, 6920S. So it's got 138 horsepower. How much it actually has, I don't know. And it would appear the three-point linkage, something there is completely and utterly broken. I wonder what that is. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a bit. All right, uh, nothing to buy those tires, which is surprising. What the hell is that? Is the tractor moving? Doesn't look like it was. But the, uh, what I was looking at is the data play here. It is moving. Yeah, John Deere. Oh, okay, no. It's not as funny as the uh, other one. What is moving there? Hmm. Uh, Matt was saying last night that he's got an issue with the Ford and it's been driving him up the wall, God. Let me tell you, it's been driving him up the wall and it will uh, slide a little. It looked like that was doing it. That's why I was actually paying close attention to it. Now this tractor here, hands down, is probably the best... One sort of the 6000 series to uh, 7000 7000 series I've seen so far. There's a 6930 that's out that a few of you guys have tried from various different websites, and again, unfortunately, they are not on console, they are just PC only because they're off of different websites. And on all accounts, it's a POS. Uh, I've tried it myself and it was something that I can't remember what it was now, but it's something I just didn't like one bit, so inevitably you guys don't see it. If uh, John Deere 7530 come along tomorrow, I'd probably jump on board with that. Uh, it's one of my favourite tractors, and again, I think I've touched on this this week, and the 7810, this shape John Deere, two of my favourite shaped John Deeres out there. So... That's kind of where that one comes from. Holy crap. I just looked at the weather outside. Of, you guys heard my phone go off, so just making sure. And then Jess, she's out and about today. It's 20... It's, bear in mind, right now, at the time of me recording this, you can see the time up in the top right-hand corner. It's 
and it is 27 out there feels like 37 oh, it's so hot right now straight up ridiculous I know you guys in the UK, you had a hot, not that long ago, I think it's possibly cooled down over there. Hopefully it's cooled down for you guys over there right now. Oh, we're getting a little fertilizer. Uh, this week coming, the week that I'm away camping, I hope to God it's cooler. Because where we go camping, short of jumping in the water a lot, there's no relief up there. Luckily it's a lot, it's a lot more shaded, so that's a bonus. The trailer has AC, so if it got that unbearable, we could jump in there, but still, it's... Nah. And fun when it gets that hot. Uh, one headlands, up and down rows. Field 41, generate course. Oh, That goes a little uh, interesting there. We'll go back. And... First waypoint and drive course. Be off of you. Alright, the minion's on its way. Uh, that thing's playing quite nicely. This is waiting in the wings. Ah, what I've been waiting for. The opportunity to drive this. Now, there's a, uh, I said this, I'm probably going to be using this tractor quite a bit. It's definitely one of my favorite tractors, if not my favorite tractor now, it, it's out. My favorite tractor may seem like it changes a lot, but it doesn't. The uh, 6920 was hands down my favorite tractor. For a while now, this came out. My favorite stock tractor. That was between the 6R and the uh, 8RT. Okay, we've got 33 fowl of wheat, 48 fowl of barley, 14 fowl of oats, canola's 10k, seven flowers we'll ignore for now. Alright, we'll do barley. We'll ship in some barley. Good lord, the rate that fills up is phenomenal. I thought that had a rolling animation. Alright. Evidently not. So we've got 30 ton of barley in the arse end. And we are on our way. We have no idea where we're going, but we will go somewhere. And we'll enjoy the cruise. All right, on the brakes there. Wrong one. Of course, it's going to want to save. I love that it does auto save, but when you every time you come into the menu, it is kind of annoying. And I think that's when the auto save is only when you come into the menu. I'm not sure. Okay, so barley. Uh, wow, a lot of the prices are all over the shop right now. Uh, Whitney Grain seems to be the highest, so we'll mark that up and see where the flashiness is coming from. Oh, wow. Uh, not too far at all. And we've got a diesel stop on the way. Do I actually need to pick up some diesel? I don't think there is any diesel on site, which is surprising. Now, he's got fuel stations over the map, so it's not too much of a biggie, and it gives me the opportunity to buy the service trailer and actually use it. I feel like I'm being pushed a little here, going down the hill. And I 
I need a bit more weight for the hole in this. Uh, I can't remember how much this weight block is for the up front. It's it's not a lot actually. And this is what I love on the map. This stuff. Which I think I'm actually going to park up here quick. Switch off traffic so it doesn't back up and cause issues. And grab a screenshot here. I actually kind of want the crossing in, in the picture there. Now I need to wait until someone's walking across. Oh, actually, I'll light it up. Waiting. Waiting. There's a freaking crow jaywalking. Two crows jaywalking. Okay, one's found some food. Probably from the spa. Is there actually no one walking this way now? Oh yeah, we've got some, we've got to do walking. These are really long lights. I'm telling you, they're just they're terrible. See, still red. All right, he's going behind the trailer now. The things we do for thumbnails. Now, granted, I could cut half of this out, or I could just leave it in and you guys could skip forward or laugh or whatever you're going to do at this part. Really, I should cut it out. Ah, I just missed him go by. We're going to have to wait again. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I got it. We'll see how that turns out in post. Alright, switch traffic on. On. Back. Thank you. Now this is why I don't think it's going to be good to come to console. All of that stuff along there. Now granted, someone was saying there is... Oh, she needs to turn her back on. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Someone was saying that there are maps up on the mod hub currently that have storefronts and brands like that in there. And to that, yeah, uh, the no doubt is... I can't speak for any, I haven't seen them personally. There could be something that I play on that's got them. But I haven't obviously looked that closely. The issue giants tend to have is the inconsistency. And it's the inconsistency we've spoke of all the time. And no matter who it is, whether I'm friends with them or not. Oh, oh buddy. Your uh, lamp's floating there. <laughs> Dang, uh, I may go through and fix that myself. Anyway, um, the, the inconsistency, whether, whether they're friends of mine or not, they are inconsistent. So they'll let some stuff through, and then another map will come along, another vehicle will come along, and they'll go, oh no, you can't have that. Yet, there's stuff on the mod hub that has that in there. And it's that double standard that really winds me up personally. It's one rule for one person and another rule for another person. And a completely different rule for another person. They need to have the same consistency across the board. So if someone has been told you can't have these brands in there, for example, the brand that you just saw me pass and me take a photo in front of, but there is another map on there that has them, well, if that's the case, take that map down and ask that modder to put uh, to fix it. It shouldn't have passed testing if those are the rules. And that's my big thing. And that's what winds me up the most that people, and it is a quite a, a lot of stuff, get through. It's just the inconsistency. If you're going to let stuff up on the mod hub with that, obviously it doesn't matter. So don't make somebody else take it out if there's stuff like that up on the mod hub. If you're not going to follow through with the case of making other people take it out. It's that that really, really gets to me, is the inconsistency as far as that goes. 
it seems like some people and I'll straight up say Oxygen David's been sort of oh yeah, yeah I opened the door a bit somehow on that one where no which one is it for the door where they've, they've pinpointed one thing and hounded him for it that was weird but in doing that they've they've really pinpointed on one thing and let a few other stuff say on Oakfield which I've pointed out in the past completely sly I'll use the example logos in your map you technically you're not supposed to have them they told him to remove the uh, burger stand logo bear in mind it was completely completely fictional Nothing like that exists. That was originally Landy Kids Burgers back in Thornton. So you guys know it doesn't exist. They made him blank that logo off. Look around the side that's got his logo slapped on the side. See the inconsistency on there? They told him to blank that off. That's on there. It's just so much inconsistency as far as Giants testing goes. Yes, I know they're busy guys as far as that stuff goes. Yeah, you're likely to miss stuff. But, especially something like that really pinpoints the double standard. You, they just end up missing so much stuff and worry about stuff that makes no sense, especially when it's completely freaking fictional. Or they'll get hung up on stupid little stuff, FS15, and bear in mind it's damn near the same team. I, mean, I think one person left. A hose pipe floating on Oakfield Farm, but on a other very popular map, which I'll straight up say Black Sheep's map, they let huge freaking holes in fields pass testing to go on consoles. And oh, that just drives me up the wall. I have nothing against Black Sheep at all. I think the maps are more to be desired for, to be quite honest with you. But their vehicle mods, I use quite a bit. I enjoy them. Look at the skid steer that's right in front of us right now. But that double standard for me drove me up the wall. No matter who it was. No matter whether it was an Oxy map, whether it was somebody else's map. And it, they were going through those issues. You're letting a map that's clearly got unplayable fields in past testing fully and you let in stuff that's floating a couple of inches above the ground which could have been fixed in an update and I don't know on that one guys <laughs> I don't know on that one and I've, I've got on this topic in the past now there's something someone at Giants has even said the inconsistency for the testing is kind of ridiculous granted that was previous to 19. I don't know if they still feel the same. I'm not going to mention who they are neither. But it has been said. And it has been said to me. But that's not to take away. The guys at the QA team do a fantastic job at the same time of getting these mods up in a timely manner. And now at least they weren't to begin with because they were testing the damn game because it was so freaking broken. But they, they try their best. You are going to miss some stuff. There's no doubt about it. It's just frustrating when you're seeing what's going on. Especially when it's stuff that ridiculous. It just, oh, it irks me. And I feel that's why some modders just step away from the mod hub completely and say we're done. We can't be asked with it. It's just, I, I'm done. Especially when there is very, very little tutorials out there for upcoming modders now. And that's the big thing that I've spoken about in the past is you get in the guys who have always modded get sick to death of the game move on you got some of the guys that have modded that have just moving on with their life wherever that's taken them and there's no new people up and coming to come into farming simulator the tutorials the, that stuff has just gone it's not the same as it used to be now honestly now straight up FSUK is going down the shitter They've got nowhere other than the Giants Forum for that type of stuff. And I feel 
it's not Giant's responsibility to come in and go and help on this side of things. I don't know why I just pulled in here. But at the same time, I feel it would be a nice gesture if Giants did do some really good tutorials from the ground up. And as much as some of their guys hate Blender, people, modders, are not going to be spending two to 1,000 whatever their currency is on on the uh, 3D software giants use. I forget what it's called now. People are going to be using Blender, whether they like it or not. Oh, a lot of the Giants guys, for whatever reason, hate Blender. Well, guess what? It's free. It's what people can afford. It's what people are going to use. Some of the best mods out there are from Blender. Not a software that costs a few thousand and people having to pirate it, basically, if tutorials are made for it, let's be honest. Giants aren't going to want to sort of promote that by any means. But I feel tutorials from them from, on modeling and stuff like that would be worthwhile. Coming from the ground up, bringing it into the game to help people. To entice new upcoming people to come into the game. And modern is something that I personally have just had zero interest in. I've got very little patience for that type of stuff. I like tweaking mods at times, like I've done in this tractor. And sometimes I'll go more in depth and try and mess around with the XMLs to add different configs, but <laughs> nine times out of ten I'll fail. That's as far as it goes for me. It's not something I'm generally interested in. Whee! Wrong turn. Interesting to know your guys' standpoint on that. Of course, I won't see the comments, but put them in there. I'll definitely check back on the comments when I can. Yeah, one more. I just don't want to be hammering on the data. I mean, both me and Jess get three gigs when we're up there. Well, we do anywhere for data, and I don't want to be using it all up. I feel like I end up talking about that topic a lot. Which does bug me. I don't want to keep on harping on that same story. There's a story that just doesn't change, it seems, unfortunately. And it, oh, I'm out of coffee. And unfortunately, it probably won't change, neither. So that's another 13 grand. I'm making some good money out of the uh, barley, honestly. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do as far as the fertilizer tank. Shall I put a trigger down at the main yard? Or shall I... Put one down at a store and drive there to fill up a, one of the nurse tanks that I... Well, the nurse tank that I've got, basically. I don't know with that. I'm kind of tempted to just put it down at the yard and be done with it. Is he still buying it? And the 6 meter seed is probably more than enough for this map, so I don't think I'll need a solid fertilizer. The seeds, now they're as, as a pallet form, I kind of like the pallets. Well, the pallets with the bags on top, should I say. And again, I don't think I'll be rinsing through a lot of that, so... That's almost done. I need to start saving these courses when I make them. So that's probably actually going to be the first course I save. As we are coming to the time where I will probably call a quits. I kind of goofed up there on the entrance. I'll just spin this around. The turning circle on this thing is, uh, yeah, not the best. There we 
we go. It's ready for whatever we'll uh, dump in now. Yeah, we'll leave barley. Yeah, we'll leave the... Uh, what's the wheat like, actually? Of course, it's going to want to save again. Oh, well, actually, wheat's kind of up there. Well, we're not going to do this. This. No, not barley. Wheat. We're not going to take this in on this video. This will be for a stream. Really, I'm supposed to, I should be recording a video for next week, right now, and just continuing this, which is kind of tempting. But at the same time, I think what I'm going to do is go record the first looks first, and then we'll take it from there. Actually, you can really see. That tractor squadron. Yeah, rear really suspension may need stiffening up on this. Hmm, may have to look into that. God, I'll be like, what was it? What oh, tried to have that issue big time? John Deere 7530 and FS17 took me forever to fix. But yeah, the front weight on this is pretty small. So if I put a decent front weight on it. Yeah, that's it there. No, I don't want to sell it. I have to, I have to go into here. I need to see what it is anyway, so I'll sh I can show you. So this is the triangle pack. Again, this is all off the mod hub. From the Flugel tractor triangle all the way through. Does it actually say what it weighs? No, it doesn't. Go figure. No <laughs> horseshoe on it, cool. Uh, yeah. 400, 450. Uh. Oh, here it is. Max config. Oh, 1010. Well, if that's right, then yeah. Yeah, that would be about right. Wow, and it needs more. That's a heavy trailer. Anyway, I'm going to bid you guys farewell now we've figured that out. <laughs> and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos this week. Uh, like I said, sorry it wasn't all week, but at the end of the day, I just wanted ease of getting these videos out and guaranteeing you guys get videos. So, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully the mods drop for the contest. Kind of a bit sour the fact I've missed all of those and missed the boat and being able to get first look videos out. Time I get back uh, will be Sunday this weekend. Uh, there may or may not be a video for Monday. We'll see. But probably a live stream. So that'll kind of make up for it. More than likely. We'll, just, we'll see what we're doing. See if we're unpacking still and all that good stuff. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.